home to 30 million people, Tokyo is the capital of a country that continually surprises. Despite being a nation of disciplined achievers with the third largest economy in the world, the Japanese are also very zen, managing to have the longest life expectancy of any nationality. Amongst the reasons may be the inner calm they achieve with their tea drinking ceremony. And to get the significance of this beverage, Simba dressed for the part. Being in Tokyo, I thought I would immerse myself in Japanese culture by coming to a traditional tea ceremony. And this is something that the samurai would do before going into battle. And how the ceremony starts is by purifying all the utensils so that when the samurai drinks the tea, his mind is also purified. Everything about the ceremony is very important. How you sit, where you sit, and also the most interesting part is the fact that you get to eat your sweet before you drink your tea. Hmm. It was the founder of Japanese Zen Buddhism, the priest Izai, who brought back from China the custom of making tea from powdered leaves. Tea cultivation soon spread. 500 years ago, it became the drink of the people. Now that you've purified the utensils, what are the next steps? I will warm up the tea cup. Now Japan is in winter, so it's very cold. That's why I will warm up the teacup. At the same time, I will warm, uh, check the tea utensils because um, tea utensils are passed down from some generations. That's why I will check uh, if it's not broken. This whisk to mix the powdered tea and hot water was carved from one piece of bamboo. The utensils began to develop a spiritual significance. Why is the tea ceremony so important? Tea ceremony is a very traditional Japanese art. It was founded in the 16th century and deeply connected to the Zen Buddhism. Uh, in Zen Buddhism, tea ceremony is very important because it is like an active meditation. Its uh, purpose is very similar to the Zen Buddhism. Inspired by Buddhism, this mixing of the powdered green tea with hot water took on a simplicity and a greater emphasis on etiquette and spirituality. These gatherings are attended by only a few people in a small room designed expressly for this purpose and measuring exactly 2.73 meters squared. The way of tea is a ritual that can go on for up to four hours and there are tea schools with grand masters. From where Simba was sitting, it all made for a sense of quiet anticipation. The whole ceremony is very important. I mean, she just passed the ball and that on her side. I have to bring it to my side. And then I have to pick it up with this hand, all right? And now I receive it in a certain way. I turn it 90 degrees. I say, thank you. I drink a little bit. And I just, all I do is drink bit by bit until I'm finished it. I think the great thing about the whole process is that it's very relaxing. You really have to concentrate and focus on what you're doing. So for the last slip, I have to slurp it. That means I like it. I wipe it off where I've just drank, and then I place it on her side. Thank you. Harigato. While the tea ritual forms part of Bushido, or the samurai's way of the warrior, Japanese society had other warriors who lived to a less structured code, the ninja. Today, power struggles happen in the boardrooms of this massive economy. But 400 years ago, when the country was a series of feudal states, battles were often fought by hired mercenaries, and the ninja, or shinobi, were the most highly trained and most notorious of these. That tea ceremony has got me all zen and focused, and focus is exactly what I'm gonna need, because I'm next, it's my ninja class. The skills practiced by the ninja are called ninjutsu, or the art of stealth, and include armed combat, weapons, and military strategy. Ninjutsu was passed down within families or from a teacher to a select few disciples. Hence the secrecy and mystery around the ninja. Until now. I don't know whether to be scared or excited. Shima-san, this is Takeshi, uh, your instructor today. Oh, fantastic. Well, good to learn from you, sir. I've been watching a ton of ninja movies since I was about this high. But what's the history behind it? Ninja has a long history and very mysterious. Samurai is a social rank, but ninja is the only job. They work for some people who pay money. And the most important mission is information gathering. 
but sometimes they undertook a dirty job too. So what are we going to learn today? Today you are throwing shuriken, ninja stars, very typical weapon of ninja. Though not as simple as they appear. So what happens here? What's ninja the... stars, usually we put poison on the four tips. Okay. So very dangerous. So just pinch the middle part with your two finger, thumb and index finger. Okay. And then what's the technique? Then just make it spin towards the target. Can you show me first? Combined with their stealth, these skills made the shinobi most valuable in taking over castles and forts. Okay. Simple as that. Takes you back to being a kid again and practicing with my mom's kitchen knives, eh? <laughs> Not bad for my first time, right? <laughs> All right, let's go again. Many ninja families lived in bandit country and honed their martial skills for self-defense. Now let's move on to the practice of blogan. Okay. And sometimes you should be more accurate. In that case, very effective. You put a needle with a poison mm -hmm. and aim at the target. All right, can you show me? Hey, take a look at this. You see, much of what the ninjas do is a thin line between fact and folklore. I mean, they used to say that the ninjas could walk on water, they could be invisible and also play with the elements as well. Make a mouthpiece. You have to make a mouthpiece with the fingers, otherwise you get poisoned. I must poison myself. Make it airtight. Okay. And through, through, uh, just blow through your fingers. Okay. <laughs> oh. There we go. Take a look at that. I think I'm ready for my mission, eh? What do you think? <laughs> They've been romanticized in kabuki theater. Hollywood's made billions casting them as the bad guys. Either way, audiences love a ninja. I'm on my ninja mission, got full gear, I've got my fake sword here because it's blunt, so no ninjas will be hurt in this one, but I need to find my nemesis. Let's go. No! Without these black-clad characters behind every corner, Jackie Chan and Chuck Norris movies wouldn't have been half as much fun. Simba was reliving a childhood fantasy. Key to being a ninja, always have a trick up your sleeve. I guess the ninja always makes a play. What a workout. Time for another cup of tea.